Hi, my name is uh, Joe Middleton and I am a mum of two daughters and I consider myself a solo parent. I think a lot of people might wonder about the difference between a solo parent and a single parent. And I guess it's perhaps a term that wasn't around as much when my kids were growing up and I first became a solo parent, but it seems to be becoming more popular. And basically is this idea of being the only parent. So rather than having that kind of, you know, often if you think of a single parent, you think, oh, great, it means you get every other weekend to yourself and you get to have a week off when they go on holiday with the other parent. Being a solo parent isn't like that. Being a solo parent, you do everything. You don't have every other weekend off. There isn't another parent there who's sharing not just the physical responsibilities of looking after a child, but the emotional responsibilities as well. I think that is often the biggest burden that I feel. I think when children are younger, you do crave that to have on your own, but I have been very lucky and had a lot of support from family. And so, you know, you can send a child off to their grandparents for a night and that's great, you get a night off. But those grandparents ultimately don't share the decision making with you they don't share the financial responsibility they don't just share that kind of overarching sense of like am I doing this right am I doing the right thing here and not having another parent to kind of bounce those ideas off and to share in that decision making process can be really hard and it can be hard to know if you're doing the right thing or not I haven't always been a solo parent and it's not something I particularly set out to do it's not something that happened by choice but my youngest daughter at least it's been about 10 years now that I have been parenting her on my own and there are challenges but also there are so many positives and so many highlights because apart from anything else you always get to be the favorite parent um, <laughs> which you know it's nice um you have to play a good cop and bad cop but you always get to be the one that you know that they're going to come to at the end of the day and you get to take full credit uh, when they turn out to be amazing children which is also very nice about the time that I became a solo parent is when I started writing my blog actually it's called Slummy Single Mummy and it was meant to be almost a, a replacement for that other parent somewhere that I could kind of write about things that I wasn't sure about whether that was like little things like how much pocket money are you meant to give children or like bigger things like parenting alone at Christmas and that community became for me like a surrogate second parent in my family and I found that so valuable just to have other people who were either in sort of similar situations or even if they weren't, who still understood the, the decisions that I was trying to make or the situation that I was in and could offer not so much advice, but just reassurance, I think. Just having somebody say, do you know what? That sounds really tough, but it sounds like you did the best thing that you could do. That's sometimes all you miss as a solo parent and creating that community for yourself online, whether that's like I did setting up my own blog or whether it's kind of joining in with another existing community is yeah, just so, so valuable. And I can't recommend it enough. Honestly, your families come in all shapes and sizes and sometimes it's two parents and sometimes it's a solo parent and a hundred people in a Facebook group. And, you know, they can both be brilliant ways to get support. I'm always happy to chat and to share stories.